Now, what is polymorphism? Or when I uh, had the first class in which I told you all that what are the features of features of object oriented languages, then one of the features was polymorphism. In polymorphism, I told you single entity many form. That is, one functions behave differently for different objects, right? So, what did I mean by meant by it then? I meant by it then that we can have the same name of the function. In that class itself, I told you that if something is like I drink the milk a different way and a dog drinks the milk a different way, I will drink the milk in a glass. A dog will lick lick out the milk. Right? Clear. So the function is the same. The function is to is to drink the milk, but I am performing it in a different way. The dog is performing it in a different way. Clear. Therefore. The same thing goes here. We have the same function name. We have the same function data type. We have the same function name. The only thing that changes is the is the parameter. The name of the function remains same. So in polymorphism, two things can change: the parameter as well as the return type. But the function name will return will remain the same. So here, in the first function, we have only two parameters: int a and int b. In the second function, we have three parameters: int a, int b, and int c. Clear. So the same function will behave as two different things. Here we are returning a plus b. Here we are returning a plus b plus c. The first function is used to calculate the sum of two numbers. The second function is used to calculate the sum of three numbers. Clear. And this thing you have, I think, earlier also used. So let's see an example. Like. Right now, getting where to use here. You all have used this in mathematical func functions only, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. In string function, when I was te teaching you all string function, then I told you a replace. I told you starts with. I told you ends with. I told you. Uh. Uh. I told you. More, I told you. Wait, what more? Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Dot index of and dot last index of. In these all, I told you that these function behave the same for both the character as well as string. I told you that dot index of dot last index of dot starts with dot ends with. They behave the same for both the character as well as string. That is, they can check for both character as well as string. So, what? Would be what would be ha what would be happening behind the scene? The function would be same. The function would be index of like this. Int index of the name of the function is index of. Here we we would have been char ch, right? We would have the same function dot index int index of. Behind the scene, what would have been string st. So the function name was same. When you call, when you pass the parameter as character, so if we will pass the character as as dot uh, index of, we pass the uh, uh, parameter as character, then the function that has the parameter as the ca character will only run. And if we are pass it as string, then the function that has the parameter as string will only run. What do I mean by this? That यहाँ पे we had st dot index of c c was a character so it will go and run only the function which has the character c h as the parameter it compares the prototype with the syntax it with the calling of the function so यहाँ पे क्या हुआ we have s dot index of string so s dot index of string जब मिला तो it will only call the function that has the string parameter as it as it is clear so this is known as polymorphism Polymorphism can be done due by increasing or decreasing the parameters. First point. The second point by changing the data type, by changing the return type as well. Clear. So in the exams, it has been asked that how can, uh, what are the different way a function can be uh, used in polymorphism? So in that, you are required to like this. Clear.